Good morning. I'm going to present to you the standard and test and deviation. Standard and test and deviation is composed of three distinct laboratories. Each laboratory is technically competent for the type of test they undertake, which, which are conducted by competent staff. <coughs> we have the biological laboratory, which tests of the, we have three sections, the entomology section, the microbiology, microbiology section, pharmacology and toxicology section. These are the samples and the tests that they analyze. Next is the chemistry laboratory, which they have two sections, the inorganic and the organic chemistry, chemistry section. Also, these are the tests that we are analyzing. For the physical testing, which I'm going to present to you, it, we have the two sections, the physical testing section and the formula conversion section. For the physical testing section, we analyze the rubber and rubber-based product. The plastic product, which I'm going to present to you the details, particularly the testing of plastics, adapt, which is adapted to testing of composite materials as an alternative for fiber, fiber glass. We, use, we also issue we also issue we also issue the formula conversion to the manufacturing companies. That are import that are that are using imported materials and they're going to export and subsequently exported product to other countries for the purpose of tax credit and tax halting. Standard and testing division is the first I DUST testing laboratory accredited under PNS ISO IBC. 7.02% to 2005. <laughs> the significance and advantages of a payment of services at standard and testing division, especially in this performance testing, we have new and upgraded facilities and a state-of-the-art testing equipment. Product standards can be set based on local supervision while in accordance with global standards. Locally available services lessen the need for setting sample approach, which is expensive and time consuming. Efficient testing facilities that accommodate the demands of local plastic industry. Reasons why you want to avail of the testing services to prove design concept, to provide the basis of reliability, to assure safety, to protect against product liability suits, to provide quality control, to meet standards and specifications, to verify the manufacturing process, to evaluate competitors' product, and to establish the history of report new materials. Materials in the composite industry are often both advanced if they have the combined properties of high strength, high stiffness, low weight, corrosion resistance, special electrical properties in some cases. Composite materials can either be thermosets, thermoplastics, laminates, fiber reinforced plastic, core materials, resins, films, and resins, or any other combination of uh, these materials. Currently test, currently test offered by physical performance testing laboratory. First, that is the tensors, tensor strength and elongation, which is the most common of all the tensors, and most, and the pinaka talaga na test na pinaka test sa amin. In Hamarani, is the determination of force of uh, elongation taking take during an interactive stretching of the test piece at constant rate of transverse until the test piece breaks. We use the test method for plastic, the ESPM 63 
Next is the tractural strength, the determination of deflection in the wheat span, and first is the fly that constantly until rupture of course at the outer surface of the specimen, or until the maximum strain of 5% is reached, or whichever of course first. We use the three point loading test here in our, in our, in our plastic. For the ISOC impact test resistance, it is a determination that impact resistance of vertically clamped nut samples when impacted by a single blow of a pendulum released on a fixed distance of the specimen clamp. We use the SDM D256 for the test method. For the, for the charping impact resistance, the principle for the charping impact resistance is almost the same as ISO impact. Only the, or the orientation of the sample it, here, the orientation is zero, so horizontally, while in, in ISO, it is vertical. And here, we can use notch or unnatch, but in, in ISO, it is usually not. Compressive strength, the test involves the determination of the compression reflection characteristic of plastic at relatively low uniform rates of training for loading. We also test the clear resistance. The first required the clear specimen, specified test phase with cut or name at constant rate of transfer until the test phase breaks maximum force and chip are reported. We use the ESP and we want to share reports. For the density and specific gravity, we use the water displacement principle by Archimedes. Archimedes. The test case of method is 79, ESP and B79. Abrasion resistance is the measurement of abrasion resistance of dark plastic materials. The car subjected to a base of fractional wear report where reported in terms of percent loss in weight. Here we use the water absorption test form at using the test method of 57B and the chemical resistance for 573. The measure the properties of plastic before and after immersion in test liquid, including water petroleum derivatives, organic solvents, and chemical agents, as well as reference tests. Next. Those in this is that. These are new uh, sophisticated equipment. Uh, the determination of the systems of plastic to and exposed to an is both under static or dynamic tensile stress to air containing a different concentration of ozone at a different temperature. For the volume resistivity and surface resistivity, this argument and it is the determination of electrical resistance of anti static and conducting proper products manufactured fully or in part from plastic whose electrical systems measure between the fine points. For the low temperature brittle test, here we determine the temperature of which the plastic and elastomers exhibit break of failure at which half of the test specimen failed under specified impact time. Here we are this until negative 17. And we use the refrigeration the refrigerator not the dry ice and according to me is and the lab. The rebound resilience is the determination of rebound resilience of plastic which in fact not subject to the impact. It is the ratio of energy return to energy applied. For the flammability test, we we conduct the burning rate of plastic using the UL94, using the vertical and horizontal, horizontal orientation. For more queries, if you want to avail our testing services, 
this product that we do sell them to sell to sell them to local food to one to or you can think of it as a physical testing at IPDI, DUS, STDI, PDI, USD at gmail.com. Thank you. Your materials. 